So let's assume that you have installed Octave. So first you choose the folder where you actually have Octave. So in this case, it's in my document MATLAB. So you can't see it in the picture, but I'm going to open it. And this is where is the program. So I double click on it, it's there. I can notch it with the yellow arrow. So here is the program right now. Okay, so now I have to set up everything. So first I install the microphone. Here it's SM57. And I put it on channel two in this case. Then the guitar. Make sure that it's in instrument position. Here it's a Martin HD28. Okay. So now I have to check. So I have pickup in channel one, mic in channel two. You can choose it either way around. So I will set my interface. So let's say 14,000 Hertz. So it's important if you use, for example, a Line 6 Helix, it has to be 48 kilohertz. Uh, if you use some other higher pedal host, then you have to choose the corresponding sampling frequency. So my audio interface, I have to set both the input and output. So the input is the Scarlett 2i2 USB. Output Scarlett 2i2 USB. Okay, and now I have headphones here. So I'm gonna record with this little zoom recorder, both my voice and with the two lines that are plugged, what you listen from the output of the focus right. So now check the levels. So the levels should be, so it should be blinking, set the mic position in front of the 12th fret, set the gain up. So here on the app, you have a test recording to check the level. So I will, for example, do the case where the levels are too low. So let's record. So you see the, the levels are too low. The red line is almost impossible to see and the blue line is within the two black lines. So let's now fake the fact that it's too high. So I put the gain to the maximum in both sides. I record again 10 seconds. So here the result is clearly distorted because the signal goes out of the of the picture of the graphic so now i'm going to set about what i think is right okay let's try again now it's okay so you see the signal is not too small or too big and it's not distorted so it's gonna be okay so now i can uh, go to step five which is record for ir generation so i can record either one or two minutes so the idea of recording one minute is for example to make different ir test them and if you uh, don't like them play with the mic position and do again for one minute once you're happy with the mic position you can make a final recording with two minutes in order to get a better quality so for just the sake of the demo i will just keep one minute 
and I will play something. So the goal is to play all along the fretboard. It doesn't have to be musical. You can have a, a finger picking, a strumming, whatever you like. But it's have you have to play the, the most you can. So now the recorded, uh, recording ended, you can see that uh, the bar is full blue, we have a signal, uh, nothing bad happened. So we can choose the output IR file format. So let's say, for example, I want to put it into an LX, so I know the format would be 2048.16 bits. Okay, let's try that. Uh, so I compute the IR. So at the beginning, the bar is quite fast, but then it gets slower. Okay, so now this is your IR spectrum. Uh, you can see you have a sharp peak here between 100 and 200 Hertz. Basically, didn't find it because it it found a resonance of around 24 kilohertz. So that's kind of buggy. Uh, probably we should remake this IR. Uh, okay. But let's say we go for it anyway. We can listen to it. So here is the mic, just the track of the mic alone. Let's listen to the pickup, the pickup track here. So the transfer you emulate is quite airy, but very piezo sounding. So now the convolution with the IR. doesn't sound so bad so uh, I have uh, we have three save options so here we can save in standard mode so you get basically one IR file you can have various flavors so in this case you will have uh, in addition to the standard IR file a blended IR file a raw IR file and um, a medium phase IR file and if you choose feedback frequency, basically uh, it will cut at the top frequency. So in this case, there is a bug because it found it here. But in, a, in most IR, it will detect this resonance and it will put minus 6 dB there and will try to compensate the loss of low end by also cutting a bit of high end. So let's say we want to call this uh, IR, IR HD 28. Okay. Like that. And we save. So I uh, just want to standard. Okay. So now I can check here. I have the JPEG, which is basically this image and IRHD 20 weight uh, waves that appear. So I can close 
So, oh, also, there is a donate button that will uh, open your web browser and put you to a PayPal uh, page. So if you want to make me a gift, if this software is, help, uh, is a help for you, uh, feel free to give me uh, to make me a little present. So here you have a close button, you can close it there. And now uh, we're going to try this IR. So how do you try it? Basically, you have to open IN many host. First, I have to close Octave. Okay. So what I will do is turn off the microphone so you can't actually listen to it. So to be sure, I put the mic out. There's no monitoring. Okay. So because the microphone would go here in stereo, so then I put LA Converter and I wire it. Then I put the stereoscope and then I wire it this way. Okay, and then I choose the IR which is there. Okay, so if I play now, everything is on the